Thursday, July 1, 2021. Hello, everyone. It's always a pleasure to know you're watching our press review on G Daisy Plus TV every Mondays and Thursdays. Today's edition takes off through the main stories reported by the press on Wednesday, June 30, and Thursday, July 1. We open with the Sun newspaper, which tells us that a report allegedly from the audit bench of the Supreme Court on the COVID-19 funds management has leaked to social media. Just like the preliminary report, the Sun says the document is explosive and full of alleged indictment of two main ministries involved in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Get to know more about the major highlights of this report by reading page 2 of The Sun, published on Wednesday, June 30. We stay with The Sun to talk about the situation of the remaining five Indian divisional delegates kidnapped by suspected separatist fighters. The Sun says fear mounts in Zian as their whereabouts remain a mystery. The same preoccupation is voiced by Newswatch. The bi-weekly in its Wednesday, June 30 edition says government remains mute on the case but chases shadow in Doctors Without Borders report. It is worth reminding that there were six of them at the beginning. One has been killed and the five others are still in captivity. From Newswatch, we move into the Guidance Post newspaper. The paper carries as main headline news this warning from prominent Anglophone economist. Negotiate federalism or lose Northwest and Southwest. Get to know more about his reasons in today's edition of the Lone English Daily. We equally learn from the Guardian Post that some boys in the center region have been arrested for allegedly gang raping a 70 year old woman. According to the story by Maureen Tani, the suspected rapist, including a teenager, broke into the house of an old couple robbed them and gang raped the 70-year-old woman of the house. The story continues on page 3. We end this press review with the Eden newspaper. The paper reports on Dr. Simon Monzo's declaration as far as the independence of Anglophone Cameroon is concerned. He disclosed that in case of a referendum, 99% of Anglophones would vote for total independence. Read more on his reaction in today's edition of the Eddy newspaper. And that does it for what the papers had to say today. Thank you so much for watching. On to our next edition.